Breaking Bagram, part one. Medal of Honor, hard difficulty walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. Why isn't this blank? There we go. That shouldn't have taken that long. Ooh, maybe the live stream is screwing with it. And of course, the water starts running as soon as we start recording. Yeah, of course. Uh, so the first part of this level, you're just sitting in the car. As soon as Ooh. the window gets shut out, that was uh, cool. just pull the trigger and you can knock out the front windshield. Uh, this is kind of a fun part. It reminded me of a level in Call of Duty. Uh, what was it? Modern Warfare 2. There's a level where you're in the back seat of a car, like driving down an airstrip, uh -huh. just shooting out other cars. Now you're not shooting out the Taliban. In Modern Warfare 2, you're shooting out, um, uh, like, trained, I think they're Russian soldiers defending America. Yeah. So we're doing something different. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever tried this. It just kind of came to me as I was setting all this up. We are uh, actually live streaming the video editing program as we're doing uh, voiceovers. Doing the voiceovers. So then, like, because this guy, this game is not that long. I've talked about that before. It's not that long. It's not very challenging. So I feel like I'm going to run out of things to talk about very quick. Like, there's plenty of times in this game already where I'm just bored mm -hmm. recording it. Like, there's no challenge to it. I'm just running around with a shotgun, just yeah. blasting stuff from <laughs> as far away as possible. So in a second here, the truck's going to stop. You're going to hop out. This is all automatic right here. Not like you have to do anything. You're going to hop on the, the turret, uh, shoot out the two large red explosive barrels, and then there's going to be a car that's going to pull up in a second on another truck that's going to have a turret mounted on the back of it to shoot out the turret gunner. And so unlimited ammo, no overheating? I don't know about no overheating. I didn't try, but unlimited ammo, or at least they don't tell me how much ammo. Yeah. There's a level that I just finished recording where you're flying a helicopter, uh -huh. and it's practically unlimited ammo. Like, you really, really, really have to try to run out of ammo. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have thousands and thousands of rounds and missiles, and, like, you'd really have to go out of your way. Just hold down the Just buttons. hold down the trigger. But, yeah, so... Now that the car has stopped, you're going to jump out again and uh, just move up the left side. I don't want to talk about it. So after the first batch of videos, we got a nice email from Sergeant Nickens of the Marine Corps because we were talking about uh, trying to buy this game overseas. Right. And on a military base. On a military base. And uh, here's the entire email. Or was this from YouTube, the email that you sent me? Yeah. Or the email, because he's posted this two different places yeah um, he said just wanted to comment on your thoughts of how a military person overseas would get this game due to the fact that it's not sold in the, in the exchange store uh, from Medal of Honor oh I, I talked about this in the second of anyway <laughs> <laughs> I'm a US Marine that's been overseas and had countless items shipped during that time and certified as one of my units mail clerks and how one goes about getting such an item is to have it shipped via APO or FPO and with most, if not all, major industries, it doesn't charge extra fees. Uh, thank you for reading. Hope this helps. As your website does with many others, including myself. So, thank you for the email. Yeah. That was, that's good to know that if you want this game, you're not stuck to getting it from your on-base store. You can order it for free. I'm, I don't know what APO or FBO stands for. But, uh, yeah. Cool. Thanks. So, yeah, anybody that really in the armed services overseas that wants this game can get it for their region-locked Xbox 360. PlayStation 3, almost all games are not region-locked. See, my question is, do guys in the army want to play games like this because this is what they do? Like, would you want to play a video game where you made video game walkthroughs on the internet? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying. Uh... You know, uh, just from my experience playing Call of Duty online, yeah, I run into a surprising amount of people that say they're in the armed services. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously that's not scientific, but <laughs> right. And someone said they got married more on than, our podcast, right? Right. <laughs> but more than Halo, like significantly more. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, if absolutely. You're into it, I guess if you're into it, if you join the army, you think this kind of stuff is cool. And I'm sure yes. the games allow you to do stuff you can't actually do. Uh, so you run up to this corner, you're going to throw up these goggles, and you're going to be given this little tracking device. 
and every couple of seconds you're given an opportunity to mark a target and when you mark uh, either one of the turrets or you know uh, large parts of the structure uh, if you mark anywhere on that bridge or this, the mounted guns it'll just blow up the whole thing and then another vehicle is going to come by you mark that and then it automatically kicks you out so you can't use that thing whenever you want just this one very specific section cool yeah kind of like the call down thing in halo yes exactly the target locator yeah i'm yeah I'm about half I'm probably two-thirds of the way through recording this game right now mm -hmm. and i'm very bored with it very very bored with it it's not fun a, a second time through like a really good game i'm enjoying my third time through yeah this i barely made it well, I, I enjoyed my first time through, but uh, I'm kind of glad that it's a very short game. Well, if for it was player, hard, actually, would you be miserable? Or uh, would you be happier? I'll be happier because there would be more of a purpose for me making these videos. Yeah. I mean, as far as... And more satisfaction on. from completing the level. Oh, you're like, yes, I yeah, finally I mean, got through that. It's, it's hard difficulty. Yeah. There should be some sort of challenge to it. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe... Okay. Here is a BS excuse in favor of uh, EA Los Angeles, mm -hmm. who developed the single player for this game, yeah. not DICE. They want to illustrate the fact that uh, U.S. soldiers absolutely dominate the Taliban. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. it's not even like, you know, a competition. Like, I, oh man, in the first Gulf War, I remember hearing uh, stories about like a small, like four or five U.S. tanks will come over a hill come over like a sand dune and there'd be just uh, I don't remember the numbers but just a huge amount of basically ex-Russian tanks mm -hmm. armed by Iraqis and you know out outnumbered like four or five to one and we wouldn't get a scratch hmm. but this isn't the Gulf War I guess it's pretty damn close but yeah same area of the world same I don't know same general conflict. Sure. <laughs> They're on oil that we want. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we got our SUVs that need gas. In them. <laughs> so know. burn gas to get it. Yeah. No, I don't know. I hate politics. Uh, so you jump up in this building. Uh, you have two different guns on this. You have a, a more automatic gun and a, a precision rifle, which you can switch to fully automatic. And you start with very little ammo. Uh, I don't remember the name of this gun, but you can ask for more ammo from your partners and you get like an extra 400 rounds. So Sweet. ammo is still not a problem at all. 